Hello, hello, hello. This is Jenna Cantor. I'm all about physical therapy and performing today. I want to quickly just talk to you about choosing footwear. Now, this is something that I think people choose more often than not, especially when they're in their 20s or in high school or younger and your feet are able to recover faster. You're looking more at the appearance of your footwear. And I want to change your thought process a little bit more now that if you are watching this video or paying attention to what I'm posting, it shows that you care more about your health. So that being said, I want you to start thinking about, hi Kathy, I want you to start thinking about the placement of your foot. So for instance, heels. If you're wearing heels, that means instead of your foot being flat and the bottom of your foot being flat and parallel with the ground, it means the heels always lifted. So that means the muscles that are being used are going to be imbalanced. So the back of your calf is going to be turned on or shortened and the front of your, your shin, the front of your leg, the shin area will be turned off. This can happen with any type of footwear. So you want to start thinking about the balance that is happening in your lower extremity, in your leg. So when you're choosing your footwear, look to see if it's having your foot tilt to one side, if it's going forward, if it's going backwards, going towards the center, going, toward, going, going more laterally. These are things to start thinking about. Also, of course, as you know, cushioning. So every time you are stepping down, it's it, walking in a sense is like little miniature falls forward. You want to think that every time you're falling down, there's an impact that you are having onto the ground. The less cushion you have, the more you're putting onto your foot directly, onto your muscles, and then, of course, therefore, onto your bones and your ligaments, everything. So if you're not doing that, basically, it's pushing your foot to be taking more impact than it may need to, especially depending on what your surface is. See how I'm just like kind of going on this random tangent and the thought process is endless and endless and endless and endless. So you could be thinking about the cushion of your foot. You could be thinking about the angle that your foot is on. These are just two things I'm just literally coming up with at the top of my head of things to think about when you are choosing shoes. So in conclusion, as much as I, I totally understand and appreciate the value of wanting to look good and choosing footwear where you're just going to like be banging, you can wear these heels with like a flower design on them. As much as that's really fun, hey Juliana, uh, Juliana was my dance teacher growing up, hello Juliana, um, as much as it, it can be really fun choosing whatever footwear, really start bringing this into your thought process as you go shopping. It is worth your time, especially for the long term, because you will be feeling it as you get older. And it, and it stinks to not be able to wear even heels as much because your feet just can't take it. So maybe even just decreasing your time in those heels and balancing it out so you're not wearing heels all day. Maybe switching to supportive sneakers at some point instead of wearing flip-flops throughout the, your whole summer or sneakers a little bit more often. That's it. Take care. Bye-bye.